is Talk TV. The biggest issue in Britain right now is the cost of living crisis, making sure that you can live your life. If government doesn't attend to that, then everything else fails. Into the final hour of this Drive Time Spectacular. In just a little while, I'll be talking to author, author Julia Boyd. Uh, she's written a book called A Village in the Third Reich. Uh, we will talk to her about that. Also, uh, former soccer star, professional footballer Scott Minto will be joining us uh, to discuss tomorrow's FA Cup final, Chelsea versus Liverpool. As I say, please, God, can they both lose? That's all I care about. Well, we'll find out who Scott fancies, former Chelsea player, of course. A lot of people uh, think that because the uh, inevitable choice of the majority is Liverpool, that Chelsea might just nick it. Uh, so here's to the London team, I suppose. Uh, also, don't forget, taking your calls. Uh, so uh, 0344 1000. Get involved in the conversation. Or if you're shy, you can text us to write talk at the beginning of your message and send it to 8722. Too, or you can tweet us at Talk TV. Lots going on over here in Britain, of course, but as always, there's a lot going on across the pond in America. So uh, let's go straight across there and talk to uh, the White House correspondent uh, for Real Political News, uh, Professor John Christopher Buer. Uh, good evening, uh, John Christopher. Great to see you again, Kevin. It's been a while, but I'm happy to be with you now on Talk TV. Yeah, I was hoping Good. to avoid you for the rest of my life because I seem to remember last time dating our conversation. Last time you and I talked, it was before uh, the Trump a uh, Biden presidential election. And I bet you uh, dinner in the Ivy uh, that uh, Trump would win. So I still owe you that dinner. <laughs> well, well, as soon as I'm allowed to travel and we'll get into that again, uh, your, your invitation is that uh, we'll be taken up. I uh, will do it. Let, I, I, it I, I always uh, honor my wages, John. Uh, let's talk about uh, you being able to travel because it feed, feeds into uh, the pandemic, the COVID crisis. Uh, the US, uh, America has reached a rather unpleasant milestone in so far as one million COVID related deaths have now been recorded. Uh, President Biden still calling for a vi vigilance against this virus uh, but what's he actually doing to uh, tackle well, well, this well if i if i may break just with a tiny bit of breaking news for you and your audience if you don't have it already our secretary of defense lloyd austin spoke with russian minister of defense sergey Shoigu today for quite some time for the first time uh, since february 18th now secretary austin urged an immediate ceasefire in ukraine and emphasized the importance of maintaining uh, real communications so sorry to break in with that, but I thought you'd like to know. I just got that uh, before sitting down with you. OK, well, let's get to that in just a second. But since we started sure. off on the COVID route, uh, let's right, deal please. with this first. Uh, what is Joe Biden actually doing? He's saying we've got to stay vigilant about this pandemic. Well, if you go to Florida, for example, Ron DeSantis' uh, state, uh, they're not doing anything. I mean, they're not well, doing just... anything at all. So what is Joe Biden going on about? Well, I just came from Florida. I did the show with Rob in Florida, and I was terrified because th there's a judge in Florida, a Trump appointed judge who lifted all mandates for masks. And I had a mask, my wife had a mask, and I was terrified because in the all of the, even here in Washington, but mostly Florida, people were maskless. And this is Ron DeSantis, who doesn't want vaccines, he doesn't want masks, and this is terrible. This is a, this is a real uh, thorn in Joe Biden's th side here, however, Oh, well, one good. thing, John, one thing, just to sure. interrupt for a second. There's no there's no actual hard medical proof that masks are, are any good at all in preventing the spread of the virus. I, I mean, you, 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 you can take you, you can come down on either side of the argument there. Uh, but to present no. to present it as a fact that masks stop the spread of the virus uh, is not correct. You can't do that. Well, every, not every doctor I've spoken to will say that it's not a fact. It's not fact, a fact. It's a debate. Yes, it's a it debate. is. It's a debate. It's a debate. There are real facts. Plenty of doctors, no, will, plenty of doctors no, will tell you they don't work. I like your cab, so I'm not going to fight it out with you. But, but you know what but I'm but saying? It's a it's a, you, you, can't, you can't say it's a fact when lots of doctors say it's, it doesn't work. It's a where, debate. Where it's a debate. Doctors? What are these doctors? You, 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 you take, well, they say they don't work. 
It's not true. Uh, well, let's, no, let's no, no, no. You can't say that, John. You can't say it's not true. It is. That, it's argue, It's arguably not true. It is by far not a fact that masks stop the spread of the virus. It's, it's just well, one I, theory. I, I'm not going to argue with you. You've had nice enough to have me on your show, yeah. and we'll just leave it at that. All right, then. Well, what is Joe Biden doing, though, generally? Because federally, there's not much he can do, is there? Well, he's he's gotten he's pushed the, the, the vaccines. He's gotten them out there. We've uh, we've eliminated enormous uh, cont- contagion with it with this virus. And he's out front on it. And uh, it's it's really difficult because everything in this country, uh, just like the UK, needs to be needs to get money and they needs to be appropriated to do more more uh, vaccines and get more vaccines out there. And there's the new virus coming up which is making it even more difficult. Well, you don't know and that. He's going you don't to know that. And the Republicans you, don't know, you don't know there's a new variant coming up. You just, sure there is. No, yeah, there's a well, South well, African one, yeah? But no, I mean, no, you, no, you know, no. right every here, day right in every way, someone will say there's a new variant right. coming along. You can't predicate right all in... politics on the fact we're all going to die tomorrow from a mysterious variant that we oh, don't know anything about. From. All right. So we're not going to, we're not, I don't, I'm not here to convince you. I'm here to tell you what I know. Vaccines work. Masks work. Joe Biden is doing. No, no, no. You, 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 you choose that. You choose to. Uh, you choose to side on that side of the argument. This is not proven. There's no. Si- there, proven. there are no sides of facts. It's facts not proven. Facts, not not facts that you might like to hear. But the fact is that masks work, vaccines work, no, no, and there are no, some no, governors no, no, in no, this no, country. No, 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 no. Vaccines, who vaccines, them. vaccines prevent them. hospitalization and they prevent deaths. That I accept. Well, I've uh, I don't, done, I don't I've accept four of them. as a matter four of fact vaccines, that masks I've been work. on a plane You in cannot Florida, say masks work as descent. a matter of fact. Right, I'm, not gonna howl, I'm not going to yell at you. It's a debate. It's a debate. It's not a fact. You come down you on one side of the facts. argument. Uh, I you can can't come down choose on... your own facts in a debate. Well, yeah, yeah, you can choose. Yeah, uh, and, and uh, masks are not, it's not a fact that they stop uh, the spread of the virus. It is just a theory uh, that people hope that they do. Uh, it hasn't been proved. It just hasn't well, been I, proved. Well, I'll get, I'll get you nine epidemiologists. Yeah, yeah, yeah you get me. Yeah, and, I, and I'll that. get you nine who say something. You just don't different. want to believe it. I'll so say I'm not so, well, yeah, but you. you don't want to believe my side. I'm a lover, you. not a fighter. You've heard the song. <laughs> Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's let's, uh, <laughs> let's move on. I think we. I'd love to. Uh, now you were talking about uh, uh, Ukraine earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I to be honest with you, you know, uh, Russia and Ukraine and America are all saying, "Oh, let's talk. Uh, we can treat that with a or take that with a pinch of salt. Won't make any difference, will it?" Uh, but what uh, does worry me, or what I think is interesting, is it looks as if Finland. Uh, might be just about to join NATO. Uh, that will yes. enrage Putin, won't it? Uh, oh, ha- does this worry you? Yes, I love the fact that it's a it's a real uh, a, a a real Friday the uh, thirteenth uh, for, for Putin. Yeah. Happy Friday the thirteenth, Vladimir. Not only are the Finns, who are vicious fighters, incredible fighters, on your border of eight hundred miles. But the Swedes are going to take you on as well. Mm. Now, here's a guy who wanted to demolish NATO. And he was he had his support with Donald Trump. Get rid of NATO. And now countries are coming in who weren't even considered being in NATO, like strong forces of Finland and, and Sweden. And God bless him. Vladimir, happy Friday the 13th. Uh, yes, uh, unlucky for some, particularly Vladimir Putin today. Uh, but uh, does it worry you, John, uh, yeah. that... Uh, I mean, I, I'm all for the right, the total right of uh, Sweden or Finland to join NATO if they want to, and if NATO so choose to let them join. Uh, same goes for Ukraine. Actually, these are free, yes, free choices, you. free choices by independent nations. But however, the more nations say this, the more we get this situation in Scand- Scandinavia, uh, the more Vladimir Putin is likely to get angry. Uh, does a, an escalation in this conflict worry you? Well, actually, when he gets angry, my heart bleeds borscht for him. <laughs> I could care less what Vladimir is thinking or doing. And he's, the chap's not looking very well these days. We've heard a lot of rumors, and I won't go down that road. But who does he think he is? Thinking that Ukraine, he's going to liberate Ukraine because they're Nazis? The head of Ukraine, Zelensky, he's a Jew. I mean, this is a Shoah time, not a calling him a Nazi. I mean, this is criminal. And it's cruel, and it's cruel to all those people who suffered not only under the Nazis but then under Stalin. It's it's a, it's very emotional. I know many of my friends who some, in fact, were were injured, wounded, and killed 
in in reporting the news and we take our hats off to them as our president has as a, and i know your prime minister has uh, indeed. Uh, but uh, as I say, I agree with you. I mean, we can tell Vladimir Putin where to get off. Who does he think he is? Uh, but he does, have nuclear, we do, he does have nuclear weapons. He keeps threatening to use them. Uh, is it not a source of concern uh, that well, he may unleash some of his military power? He's, he's been using nuclear, the nuclear uh, threat, nuclear blackmail, the nuclear saber from the beginning. We all know this. I lived through the Cuban Missile Crisis. When Kennedy and Khrushchev went to blows, we thought, I don't know if I was going to wake up the next day. But Khrushchev and Kennedy were able to get a an out, a down ramp and get out of there. And he offered them something. And Khrushchev, being a smart man, got out. And we had we saved ourselves back in 1962, I believe, from being totally annihilated. And I think Putin is irrational. He only has one gear. It's forward. And I, I'd, be, I'd be hard pressed to say that he wouldn't be interested in going not only through Moldova, but through Poland, Germany, France, all the way to the Bay of Biscay, if he is not stopped. Good point, uh, John. Good to talk to you. Thank you so much. Uh, that's Professor John Christopher Buer. Uh, he is the White House correspondent for Real Political News. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about a new book called A Village in the Third Reich. So more about Nazis, I guess, uh, with the author Julia Boyd. Stand by for that. I'm Kevin O'Sullivan. This is Talk TV, live from the Talk Radio Studios.